All right, let's go to Chicago now. It is the fourth and final day of the DNC, and tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris is set to accept the Democratic Party's nomination for president. Last night, her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, he gave a rousing pep talk as he accepted the vice presidential nomination. Here's DNC co-chair and New Jersey Senator Cory Booker. Walz is a special kind of guy. And what you saw last night and what you felt last night is real. And so many Americans are looking for that. We've witnessed too much of the politics of demeaning and degrading. And in Donald Trump, I will tell you, he is a guy that so indiscriminately degrades Americans that even Republicans are not safe. He's been degrading uh, uh, DeSantis about his height. Uh, uh, my, my friend, Chris Christie about his weight, uh, uh, Nikki Haley about her heritage, uh, uh, John McCain about his military service. And so to see in Walls and so many of the other folks that are supporting this incredible ticket, this idea that we're not about putting people down, we're about lifting people up. And so tonight we're going to hear from Kamala Harris. And I am so excited. It's like a proud sibling. She and I served together in the Senate. I know who she is. I know what she's about. And I can't wait until America hears from her. All right, CBS News, Skylar Henry joining us live now from Chicago. Obviously, a very big night at that convention center as Kamala Harris takes the stage. So what can we expect from her speech tonight, Skylar? Hey, Juliet, always good to see you. I think what the senator just said there, saying that he knows her well, knows what she stands for, is what the vice president will certainly have to do tonight in order to stick the landing, so to speak, on this final day of the convention, really sort of give this national audience an opportunity to reintroduce herself, if you will. And that's not only about her background, where she comes from, that middle class upbringing in California, but also her life of service as a prosecutor in California, and then, of course, serving as a senator and now as vice president. We have seen tidbits of what may potentially be in her speech uh, she will obviously talk about her background, also juxtaposing why she feels as if she is the better uh, option as opposed to former President Trump will also lay her agenda out, if you will, as it relates to policies, everything from looking out for the middle class, building it up, building it out, trying to reduce costs for everyday Americans, especially as it relates to grocery store uh, costs and gas station costs, and also looking to lower costs. And we heard this from Governor Walsh just yesterday to try to allow folks who are buying a home for the first time so that they can be able to do so. So I think we'll hear quite a bit of that while also a bit of patriotism as she uh, is, is it's been a running theme over the course of the last several days about how the vice president feels about her service and, 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 and time uh, here in the country and why she wants to uh, be the next president. Yeah, it is her moment to transition from vice president to appearing presidential at this particular night. I can only yeah. help but see how quiet it is behind you as everyone's getting ready. I mean, Skylar, it is going to be electric tonight. Are you ready for it? Yeah, you know, this is the calm before the yes. final day of the convention. And really, that follows, what, three days of electricity we've seen stars. We've seen top Democrats really sort of hit the stage here and set a pretty decent production uh, over the course of the last few days, talking about everything, about why they feel as if the uh, vice president and governor should be the ones for the job, but also leaning into uh, what they feel are important issues up and down the ballot, especially as it relates to uh, trying to win the House, maintain the Senate, and then, of course, win the White House as well. And I think we will sort of see all of that culminate tonight. Uh, still waiting to see if there might be some special surprises. We've seen oh. quite a few already. Oprah Winfrey was one of them yesterday, and so I think many people will be glued. The rumors have been swirling. I won't come out and say who might be out there just yet. Hmm. Uh, but certainly one thing to uh, uh, pay attention to, especially out of the vice president's remarks later on tonight. Oh, you have me guessing now. All right, Skylar Henry. It's a Skylar. tease, Julia. A tease. <laughs> I was, it a was tease. really good. All right, Skylar, <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it.